Now I'll show you how to use 3D objects in Pandora's box. Please add the geometry folder from the stock assets to your project tab. Here you find a subfolder named 3D primitives, where some 3D objects are stored, like a cone, sphere or teapot as well. Valid object types in Pandora's box are 3DS, FBX, Object and X-Files. To assign an object to a layer, drag and drop the resource from the Project tab onto the sequence same way as done before with the texture. 3D objects will be displayed in the Device Control tab under Mesh. Now let's add a texture onto it. You can see the added object with its texture in the preview tab. Pandora's box allows you to look freely into your three-dimensional space. Within the All Cameras preview, you can look at your composition from any point. For zooming, use a mouse scroll wheel. For panning, keep the middle mouse scroll wheel pressed whilst moving the mouse. Panning changes the viewpoint and target at the same time. For rotating, keep the middle mouse button and the ALT key pressed whilst moving the mouse. Rotating the view changes the viewpoint only. With the R button you can reset all your changes and the default view will be applied. Please activate the camera thrustum. The button should be highlighted in blue now. The frustum show the field of view of the Pandora's Box cameras and how they are orientated in Pandora's Box 3D space. Here in the preview tab you can load various views into the preview. The all cameras view is always available, but the camera or output views depend on the sides added to your project. The camera view shows what a camera from a specific side sees. The output of the camera is called render target. The render target is forwarded to the output path. The output view shows the final result which will be rendered out by the finally connected client render engine. The next point is the Z-axis in Pandora's box. The Z-position is only available on servers. I already talked about the three-dimensional space in the preview. Open the related layer for the 3D object in Devices, Open Positions, and create a key for that position. Use the mouse to change the value in the inspector. When the value increases, you can see at a specific point that the 3D object disappears. If you decrease the value, the object disappears, because it is passing behind the camera position. For a better overview, you can use a different viewing angle in the preview and change the parameter again. now have a look at all available parameters for a video layer. All values for parameters can be set as a key in the sequence. And now look at the device control tab. This one is always next to our sequence tab. Here you find the same parameters as in the device tree. The first parameter is media. For Pandora's box, this parameter contains a texture, which means color information for a 2D or 3D object. A texture can be a video, image sequence 
graphics, text inputs, browser pages or incoming live streams. The mesh parameters contain the 2D or 3D object on which the texture will be applied. The opacity parameter set the transparency of the texture. By decreasing this value he will reveal whatever is composed behind the affected layer. The limit of Pandora's box 3D space is black by default. Opacity is an 8-bit parameter. You have 5 options to change the value. Use the fader for core steps. Use the mouse button down on the value entry for fine steps. Use the plus and minus for ultra fine tuning. Enter a value into the field. Or use the mouse wheel. Use the reset button to reset the parameter to default values. The transport parameter can have three different states. Play, pause and stop. All three states are used with a loop option which can be toggled on and off. Speed parameter is changing the playback speed of the applied video. Transport parameters are not taken into account by default. What they are used for and how will be exercised after this chapter. The in point, out point and volume options are skipped for now and will be part of the second grade training. With the position parameter you can change the position of the object in Pandora's Box 3D space for the X, Y and Z axis individually. Units will be pixels by default or generic units. Please note that the Pandora's Box player has no access to the Z parameter. The rotation parameter will define the orientation of the object in Pandora's Box 3D space. Please note that the Pandora's Box player has only access to the that rotation parameter. The rotation mode can be set to fixed angle or rotation speed. The fixed angle mode lets you define the rotation of the object by using the rotation parameter and is set by default. The rotation speed mode is switching relevant rotation parameters to rotation speed. The normal rotation parameters are then only defining the starting orientation. With the rotation speed parameter you can continuously rotate the object. Each rotation speed parameter is 16-bit value. One unit corresponds to one rotation per hour. That means, for example, one rotation per second must be set to a value of 3600. The last parameter is scale. Scaling will affect the size of the object. It allows you to set either individual aspect ratios or object sizes. If you change just one value, for example y, then you can see that all other values will take the same value. So, the aspect ratio is kept. You can disable this option by clicking on the link icon. Now the y scaling is independent from the other values. Scaling parameter can be used as a simple factor. Scale value 2 will make your object double size. 0.25 will be a quarter of the size. Please note that players support X and Y scale only. For now please ignore the red indications on parameters. They will be explained later. 
To get rid of these colors, please reset every individual parameter or right-click the layer and choose Reset All. Go back to the Sequence tab. To remove the container from the sequence, select the container, which will be highlighted in blue, and press Delete. With the shortcut Ctrl and Z, you have the possibility to undo your changes and the container appears again. Undo actions only apply to sequence changes.